Hey, it's on air now, and the winter is officially over tomorrow, at least meteorologically speaking. Even though we've been in drought conditions for months, February has been one of the wettest on record. We are joined right now by Ashley Lutheran with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. It is hard to think that we're in a drought when we just dug out from 6 to 12 inches of wet, heavy snow. Yes, that is, but um, this was actually the third wettest winter on record for Milwaukee and it actually appears that Sheboygan north of Milwaukee is now officially out of the drought and drought conditions are lessening throughout the state. Uh, any thought as to what's causing this drought even though we're not in the midst of it at this moment? The drought conditions, I, long term, uh, climatologists say that the state is still in a drought but the recent snow and the precipitation over the winter have helped lessen that in the short term. So short term, it appears that the drought is lessening. Well, and that's good news to hear, of course. What does it mean for the future? I mean, it's good news right now, but what does that mean come spring? Do we have a little bit of leeway there? Well, it's actually too soon to tell. According to the experts I spoke to today, um, it's good for the, con the wet conditions over the winter were good for perennial plants like alfalfa, which is used in hay. As I'm sure a lot of people know, there's been a hay shortage. Um, but as for corn and soybeans, it's really, you really won't know until the end of March. Yeah, I, I'm sure though the farmers are glad to see this wet heavy snow. They just now want it to melt slowly and not cause any washouts, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, Ashley, thank you so much for joining us here on Live at 3. And you can read more about it online at jsonline.com. We do have a link for you on our website, tmj4.com.